So in the beginning there was Adam and Eve. Yep, Ammon and a man, that called, yep. And then so how do we how do we kind of answer the the different races, the Asians and Africans and stuff with Yep. Did I answer this question good enough for you? Yeah, it was brilliant. Wow, thank you so much. Well, uh, I'd have to talk about genetics. Do you want to talk about genetics, really? Yeah. I'd prefer to talk about emotions, but... Um, Let's talk about some strategies for getting, re getting onto core emotions. Yeah, but, but I'd like to just briefly ask, a, ask the question. Um, who have ever breathed dogs or horses or anything like that? Yeah? You know that you put certain characteristics together with other characteristics and you get a totally different breed. Don't you? And then it's a matter of, and very much so with horses, this is a case, you see it a lot, where you'll choose certain characteristics from one, certain characteristics from another, and you'll breed those in and you'll get those characteristics dominant. What actually happened was because of the emotional condition of certain families way back at early times in our history, what happened is certain families chose to stick together and only, only have sex with each other. And, and it was obviously wrong to have sex with any other of the families. What that does is it makes certain things dominant, certain uh, genetic characteristics dominant in that family strain. And those characteristics then become so dominant that it becomes all of the characteristics of that race, if you like. And that happened uh, way before the time of um, uh, Lemuria and Atlantis. Right, where all of these <coughs> races started to become dominant because of the families becoming separate from each other. In, this is why you get things like genetic throwbacks, um, where you know, sometimes two white people can have a, a, a dark child, or a dark ch person, two dark people can have a white child. And those kind of things happen because there are, at times, genetic throwbacks that occur. Right? But all the, all the genetics... God built within us are all based on soul condition. So, so in other words, it's only, it's only. Um, this is going to be challenging. <laughs> it's our soul condition that creates genetic imperfection. You follow me? It's the emotion in your soul that creates a genetic imperfection in your physical genetic structure, and that physical imperfection, because it's in your genetic structure, will get passed down now to subsequent generations. And of course, your soul condition also gets passed down to subsequent generations because that's how the emotions enter each child, right? And so it looks like to be a physical problem when in reality it's an emotional issue. Ah, so when my father was growing up, there were a lot of short Italians and yeah. it was after wartime. Yeah. And, and then they're out working at the age of 13, like working 12, 10 hour days yeah. at 13. So I can see, I actually used to think about this as a child. It's all to do said, with emotions. They are emotionally, yeah, suppressed, yeah. burdened, yeah. heartache, grief, not having food. Yeah. And, and, and the growth was stunted. Well, my growth um, has been stunted through emotions. Yeah, um, I'm aware of that. Mm. I can feel my body, what, what where it should be mm -hmm. and where it is now. Mm. Yeah. So dwarfism, um, dwarfism is the same thing? Yes, yeah, very much the same thing. All, and all genetic, even issues like um, Down syndrome and all those kind of issues are all, all to do with genetic structures being modified by certain emotional conditions. Yeah. Hey, what about inbreeding in that? <coughs> so well, that um, another challenging thing for you, right back at Am I Not a Man stage, Obviously, when they were adults, when they were so their they had children who became adults. Obviously, when they're adults, they could one of them, one of them was a soulmate of another. Obviously, right? And because there's no genetic or very little genetic imperfection, the only genetic imperfection primarily that res existed at that stage was due to self reliance. And it was quite easy for them to get together and have children without there being any damage to, at all to the physical form. <laughs> The physical form's damage only occurs because of the emotional damage that's occurred subsequently. And what about, what about the uh, evolutionary theory, you know, the, the bones that they find of the early 
Man, man started at a certain location, which was at a six sphere. You can say it's a six sphere condition. That's where Amon and Aman began. What happened is due to their their decisions, their desires, they walked away from God, and man very quite rapidly actually degraded in condition. And at one point they got to the stage where they were a little better than in terms of their own actions and their own moral, moral condition to an animal. And, and their physical form changed as a result of that to that same condition. Is that Neanderthal? Yeah, so what they call Neanderthal man and all those different types of... A lot of them were just people in the lowest form of their evolution. So you could say what happened was the devolution of man. Right? Then, because all of these people had died and passed into the spirit world and slowly progressed up the spirit world in love, one, two, three, four, up the spheres, and they started to be able to influence the people on earth still, then man started evolving. And, start, and we are still evolving because of the influence that we're getting from spirits. But there is no Who were on record, the earth before. There is no historical record of the devolution. No, what happened, the of the evolution. what happened with a lot of the devolution of man was that there were some very cataclysmic events on earth, like the sinking of Atlantis and those kind of events that occurred that caused all records of this devolution process to actually be lost to man. But what will happen in the future is there will be changes to the earth that will expose some of these records and man will be able to see that this is what actually did occur. Where did the people from Atlantis come from? Um, well, they all came from an Amar and Amar. They are, like you, they come from out there. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So, so where do they fit into the diagram? Where you've got six spheres? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and yet, that, that's six sphere. That's not in a... Are you saying that's not in a, a spiritual world sense? That's on Earth. That's it? right, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Don't think that I'm talking about a six sphere. Remember, this is all conditions of love. So I'm talking they were in a condition of love, of natural love, that they were perfect. They were created perfect in natural love. And they had the opportunity, God <coughs> gave them the opportunity to receive divine love, which they rejected. Right? You can read all of this in the pageant messages.